In this video, we're going to try to figure out why your Fire TV won't detect the remote. All right, first we'll start with these quick tips. You might want to try replacing the remote batteries first. Make sure you have a fresh set of batteries in them. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you're using the correct remote for your particular model because they are not interchangeable. The Fire Stick remotes won't work with the uh, Insignia TVs, for instance, or vice versa. So make sure you got that correct. And last, if, you're, uh, if you want to give the remote feature in the Fire TV app a try, Fire TV apps available for Android and iOS, as well as the uh, Fire tablets, uh, maybe that'll help you uh, control things while you try to figure out the issue with your physical uh, remote control. All right, you may have tried this already, but try pressing and holding the home button to see if that pairs the remote. Assuming that doesn't work, the next thing you want to try is resetting the remote. And to do that, we're going to remove power from our Fire TV. So I have a Fire Stick here. I'm going to unplug it. If you have a Fire TV enabled uh, television, remove power from that. You might have to do it from the wall outlet. I removed it from the rear here. And so now that we got power removed, we're going to reset the remote. We're going to do that by pressing and holding left, back, and menu at the same time for 15 seconds. So we'll do that. All right, so the next thing we want to do now that we've reset it, let's remove the batteries from the remote. We don't want any power going through it. And now we're going to reconnect the power to our Fire TV. All right, we'll turn everything back on. And we'll put uh, the batteries back in the remote control. And then we'll press and hold the home button. You might have to wait for the screen that comes up. There's a where it says it can't detect your remote. And we have success. It says the remote is connected. I can now control the screen with it. And hopefully that did it for you. This is the most. And here's a trick I've seen work for some people. A good network connection is uh, required uh, for the remote to communicate. So sometimes plugging in a, an Ethernet LAN cable to the back of your Fire TV or your Fire TV box and then running the cable to your router helps. So we're, we're going to plug in this I have a, a long network cable and I'm going to run this all the way to my internet router. And we'll plug it into a port that's available on the internet router. And hopefully what this will do will allow you, allow your Fire TV to communicate with the remote better 
if it's not uh, getting in touch with it over the wireless network. And I've seen this work several times for people. The, the remote will instantly get detected and start working. Well, that's all the tips I got now. If you still have questions, leave me a comment. I'll try to help you out. Uh, please like and subscribe. You can also uh, see tips like this and more on streamersworld.com.